hanging out with Nick Cooper here in the pit area. He has been a regular Atlanta Legends Raceway in the Sportsman Division now for several years. Uh, he finished 15th, 16th, somewhere in that way in the points yeah. last year. First time out today. He's got the car that he ran last year. It's a big now, as you can tell from the yellow uh, on the cage inside the car. Haven't seen you since last year. How you doing? Pretty good. How's the car? All set? Did you have to hustle? Should be all set. Ready? We've we've done everything that we should, so uh, we're hoping to be good. Were you working on it today, or has it been ready for a while? Uh, we've been re pretty much ready all winter. We just had to do a few odds and ends and do stuff, and we'll see what happens. So what have you been learning? Because you've had your moments out front, just haven't been able to, to stay out front. What are we learning, and what do you think we need to do to make it to Victory Lane here in Canandaigua? I guess just in general, I need to get better. That's that's point blank. i got to get better, and... Uh, the more laps I turn out here, the more I'll get better. Okay, how do we fix that? How do we get better? Um, try not to drive it like a sprint car, obviously. Um, so your online experience kind of hurt you, you think, a little bit? No, it's just uh, this is a whole new game to me. I've been racing sprint cars all my life, so coming to these, it's all, all different. So we'll, i got to focus on trying to get a groove in these cars here. So. Well, how do you? Let's, let's walk around the racetrack then. We're going into turn one. What do you do that in a sprint car that you shouldn't be doing, or, or what you should be doing in a sports car? What are you doing wrong? A uh, sprint car, you throw it in. These cars, you can't. You got to drive them straight. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, you're going to you're going to be slow. So so you're kind of throwing it a little bit yeah, without even too thinking much. about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because then, and correct me if I'm wrong, but with a sportsman, it kind of leads you in a little bit anyway. In theory, you should slowly be turning right as it yeah. turns, right? Yeah. So that just doesn't click yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. So like you said, just more laps, and so obviously yeah. that's our big goal today. It's more like we finding a turn left going into that corner, right? I got to find a setup that I can do what I need to do with it to oh, okay. do that. Yeah. So obviously you've talked a lot to Bicknell about how to fix yes, that, right? Yep. What do they suggest? Uh, try to drive it straighter. <laughs> I mean, they don't suggest you make tighten up the car or maybe loosen it up because I would think, and again, I'm trying to figure this out in my head. I would think tightening it up would make it so you'd have to throw it more, right? Yeah. Yes. So you probably want a looser car. Yeah. Fear in, tighter off. <laughs> okay. How about middle off? Are you fine there? Yeah, I think so. I've, I've got that pretty much down. It's just the, the coming in the center I, I got to work on. Of course, the corners couldn't be more different because three, it starts to lead you in almost before you're ready, doesn't yeah. it? Yes, yeah, so it's a sweeping corner and you have to be set before you even hit the corner. Mm -hmm. yep. And then in four, you can't just romp it all the way through. You're going to slide up and hit the yeah. wall, right? Yeah, you got to be real easy off of four here. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been around this track just a few times myself and the big thing I noticed is you come out of two the first time and it's so wide and sweeping back there. It's like, where do I go? Yeah, it's, some, it's with these sportsman cars, you got to stay to the bottom mostly. So um, if you go too high, you can get underneath you, and that's it. So we'll okay. see. Are we doing anything else besides this this year? Probably just some weed sport shows, and that'll be it. Okay. Still doing some online stuff? Yes, yeah, off and on, not as much, though. Well, it's racing season now, right? Yep. So I'll be too busy. <laughs> and even though it's not exact, and I've heard all the arguments from people about how that only helps you so much, I would think doing that in the off season does one thing that we know for sure is keep your reflexes sharp. Yes, it yes? does for sure. So at least you come in tonight, you're already kind of somewhat mode, acquainted. Right? Yes. Do the 358s? This is iRacing talk. So uh, if you guys don't iRace, you might not get anything out of the next minute or two. Do the 358s handle like the Sportsman? I think so. I've never been in one, but the, the attitude of the car, yes. No, but I, you're in the Sportsman though. But I hear it's very close. Yeah, definitely yes. Okay, so if you can drive around that, you might be able to do okay in a real one i would think so yes okay because it's it's all muscle memory yes at some yep. point isn't it mm -hmm. how about the big blocks i you don't ever race those do you i've never had one never tried one no, yet i mean on i racing though yeah absolutely i think so yeah okay and well you did sprints for a long time on i racing right before the mods came out right yes okay how what what do you, advice would you give for somebody like me who's kind of stuck down low i don't have because you know some people go crazy on this stuff they'll practice three nights a week with teammates four mm -hmm. or five hours and shared setups how does somebody like me who tries it once every couple of weeks get any better or can uh, I? <laughs> just turn laps and try to get better as you go that's, that's all it. i did all right. good to see you again and uh, we'll get one for dad tonight right yep try dad to looks good by the way he lost some weight so <laughs> i'm happy you. for him Nick Cooper, ready to go out and have some fun. Hit the Blue E guys, our first uh, race event of the year. Lots more to come. We'll be here next week. You have fun, and uh, hopefully I'll interview you in Victory Lane this year. Thank you.